What is going on, everybody? Phoenix Gaming here. Thank you for stopping by. And today we are going to go over the brand new Manhunt, Manhunt Belfry, and then our main target, Barton Schaefer, today. And I have to say that this was actually one of the better Manhunts that we've done in a long time. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is part of the final mission where you go ahead and take out Schaefer. Um, and we're going to go into that. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to fight your hunter during the mission. And then we'll go over uh, just uh, the build that we, I use specifically for this mission. And then I'll let you take a look at the gameplay towards the end. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So right here, what you're looking at is the Hunter Mask Deceit. Now with the Deceit Mask, um, I like it a lot. It's really cool. You have the uh, maroon eyes. You know, you can't see your eyes, so they're kind of fogged. They're uh, tinted. And then it's like all metal with uh, different patches holding it together. So I think it's really well done. I like the beanie cap that's attached to it as well. So I'll be definitely rocking this for the time being. Now, in order to get the Deceit Hunter Mask, you are going to be having a fight with a hunter. Now, in order to acquire the mask, your, your fight towards the hunter is going to come towards the end of the actual mission. And then a few things to note is that if you die during the hunter fight, you know, you want to make sure that you reset the heroic mission. And because of this, because if you just uh, progress throughout the mission, like restart it without resetting it, you're just going to bypass that hunter entirely, fight Rikers, and then, I mean, that's that. Um, you can always go ahead, finish the mission if you want to do it that way, and then just reset it and try your hunter fight again. But if you don't, you're going to have to reset the mission entirely in order to trigger that hunter fight. Um, so with that, this is the Deceit Mask. Uh, I love it a lot. I'd recommend that you at least try your hunter fight uh, in order to have it to drop. So now to go uh, in further into it, the build that I used is actually a build I've been working on, an improvised build if you were. Now with this, I'm running the Firewall Specialization, I am running the Chameleon, I'm running my M1A, and then for the pistol, I'm running the TD1 card. For the build itself, it's a complete red DPS build. So for the first part, I'm running the Penumbra Mask with 15% critical hit damage, almost God rolled, 6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, weapon damage and then you got your critical hit damage mod at 11 percent for the chest piece i'm running the uh, combat vest by friends group ab eight percent weapon handling 12 percent critical hit damage and then another mod 11.2 percent critical hit damage and the talent i'm running on it is obliterate so you'll be able to get your 25 percent weapon damage uh, for five seconds as long as you're keeping the stacks up with critical hits Next is a improvised holster. Now I'm running the improvised holster because the holster, the improvised holster, the improvised gloves, and the improvised knee pads all have the ability to run mods. And I wanted to try this build specifically because I wanted to see how it would fare, especially using an assault rifle. And it really didn't disappoint as well as long as you're also using a uh, M1A or a rifle of some sort, you're gonna be outputting DPS like no other. You are gonna be extremely squishy, um, so I would recommend you run the uh, firewall specialization shield, the striker shield. That way you can still output DPS and have some survivability, but you are going to be incredibly squishy with you know, your armor at 726k. But with this, I rolled it to 4.7% critical hit chance, 10.3% critical hit damage, and 11% critical hit damage mod. And then I just recalibrated the core attribute to 50% weapon damage. My backpack, I'm running a Providence uh, Police uh, backpack, 50% weapon damage, critical hit damage is at 11.8%, 6% roll, and then 11.2% critical hit damage. I used Bloodsucker. This allows me to have that extra armor because as squishy as you are, you are going to want to run this specific talent to ensure that you are surviving. Next, we're running Improvised Gloves. I got a max roll of 15% weapon damage, 4.3% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, 11.1% critical hit damage as a mod, and then the improvised knee pad. 12.12% 12 12 weapon damage, 4.6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and then 11.4% critical hit damage mod. For the stats, this is what you're going to be rocking. With the chameleon especially, you know, you're almost hitting that max crit chance. You're going to be well above 200% uh, when you have the stacks on the chameleon as well. And then for this, you also have your 85% headshot damage. So it's needless to say, this build fared pretty well during the fight, especially during the mission. Melting enemies, 
and then just running through it quickly. The hardest part of the mission itself was the hunter fight specifically because the hunter is needless to say a legendary NPC. So other than that guys for the skills also I want to quickly point this out you know your striker ballistic shield use this because you'll get your damage bonus per enemy whoever are in front of it and then uh, also run your reviver hive because you're going to ensure you want to have that survivability when you run your hunter. With the hunter fight in general, there's really not much to say. It is your usual hunter, hunter fight. He is very active. He does uh, have four med kits, so you're going to want to get him down. He's going to pop a med kit continually four times, and then at the last time, you'll be able to take him out specifically. He does have... Um, he does use the disrupt. He also has the chem launcher fire starter, so you want to be wary of how he is aiming for the fire starter if you can if you can pop up and the fire starter and then you dodge out of the way and go around and then start laying down fire on him then you'll be able to take him by surprise but he is very fast he is very agile he is your usual hunter and it is very uh strenuous and hard to do it took me about three times to actually kill him because of stupid mistakes and especially disrupt knocking out my skills and not being able to use them but you won't have to worry about him blocking skills or not even using or hacking your skills for that matter. So keep that in mind. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, that is pretty much it. This is the build. The hunter fight is your usual hunter fight. It is a bit challenging, especially having a legendary character on heroic. The story of it is progressing nicely. Um, I think we have a lot in store for uh, year three coming up here soon with the division two. Like I said, I expect at least one more um, expansion to come out and then other than that i mean i have nothing else for you guys if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing this to this video make sure you share it amongst others and then you can also follow me down on twitter my handle is down there at the left hand corner i appreciate everything you guys have done for this channel you guys make this channel and i will catch you around next time and let me know down in the comment section below what you how you felt about this final mission this is a big one this is the end of season three going into season four and um yeah just let me know down in the comment section below uh what your thoughts are so drop a comment leave a like hit that subscribe button and i will catch you around next time take care get in through the arcade and agent Keep an eye out for that hunter. For all we know, that hunter could also be after Schaefer. I just saw a hunter by the ferris wheel if it's the same one you ran into earlier we should assume he's after schaefer stay sharp there's a few rikers near the ferris wheel they're armed and look ready rogue explosive trap detected
Once you're inside the haunted house, you're on your own. Keep your eyes peeled for that hunter, and don't let your guard down in there. Schaefer's still by the collapsed roller coaster. Get out of the haunted house and find a way to the coaster before he moves. Active terminal detected. I trust whatever you can find on Schaefer's off will probably be useful. Shade tech detected. Data decrypted and synchronized. Cache unlocked. Sweet. You found a hunter shrapnel trap. You should equip it right away. Might come in handy. The hunter's taking out some Rikers on the boardwalk. Now's your chance, Agent. System disrupted. went into the old amusement park. You out there? Listen, enough games. Finish it. That a boy. What? Schaefer and the hunter are working together? System malfunctioning. System reactivated. <laughs> Serious trauma detected. System curtailed. Disrupted. System reactivated. Immediate medical assistance needed. Agent out.
system restored. Still in play? The line's not secure, ma'am. Who cares? Negative on the hunter, Miss Sokolova. I suppose it's up to you now, Schaefer. And our remaining BTSU operatives. But that shouldn't be a problem for you. We're ready, Natalia. Who's Natalia Sokolova? What the hell kind of shady op are they running here? Black Tusk troops by the entrance to the coaster. Division's moving toward us. Get ready. I wouldn't rely on the grunts for too long. The BTSU is always ready. Sir. For the best of the best, sir. No, you can rely on this outfit, sir. Say the word, Schaefer. Knock it off. You're making me for cleft. Agent, kick Schaefer's ass. Get another egg. 
It's just a scratch. I've sent a team to retrieve Schaefer. You did it, Agent. You got Schaefer. Not only did you eliminate the rogue cell, but you eliminated Black Tusk's top dog and the head of the BTSU. Regardless of what shady shit they may have been up to, this will have devastating repercussions on the Black Tusk and their operations. Great job, Agent. Really great job. <laughs> <laughs> 